Welcome back. It is cooking time with HEB. We are live in Studio B this morning with our good friend, Chef Cheyenne. Always nice to see you. Good morning, Andy. How are you today? Doing wonderful. So we're cooking up Arnold Palmer chicken. That really got my attention yes. when you said Arnold Palmer, as in the golfer. Arnold as in Palmer. the golfer, as in the drink. So we are featuring today our Vela Farm Sweet Tea Marinade. Um, I marinated this chicken overnight. Now you just ask me, can I do this? How long does it really need? 20 minutes is what I recommend. Um, I added some lemons in there as well. And then I'm going to season it with our lemon pepper seasoning by Adam's Reserve, only at HEB. This is actually a searing crust, so it does have some breadcrumbs in there as well. Um, and this is really, really good for chicken fish you can use that i used on green beans last night for dinner and we're just going to put this into a skillet with just a little bit of oil and how long are you going to let it saute on each side so it's going to take about uh five to seven minutes you just want it to come to an internal temperature of uh, 165 degrees and i put the uh some fresh lemons in here as well that makes for a really really good squeezing sauce on top and it's so fragrant. I mean, I can smell the sweetness, mm -hmm. and then there's that fragrance from the lemon as well. Absolutely, and you do get a little bit of the sweetness. You get a little bit of the tang in there. I'm using chicken thighs, but you absolutely can do this with chicken breast, or if you wanted to, you could even do it with pork chops or something else if you wanted. I love the sound of that sizzle. It's awesome. So we're gonna let that cook for just a couple minutes. We're also featuring our brand new Alamo beer mustard. So today we do have our white mustard, and I'm using this to make a potato salad. So I already boiled and cooled the potatoes. We have some of our HEB Better Than Good bacon in there as well. I have our Adams Reserve Memphis barbecue seasoning. We're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that in there. Now, it is Texas after all, so we're gonna add just a little bit of cheese. I already mixed it together with some cilantro, our HEB whip, and uh, the beer mustard, and we're just gonna pour that in there. What kind of cheese? Did you use cheddar? I use sharp cheddar cheese today, but you absolutely can use, if you wanted to use low-fat cheddar, you could use uh, mozzarella. I just like again that kind of sharpness that the cheddar adds to it and this is going to be a nice uh, side dish paired with the Arnold Absolutely. Palmer chicken kind of adds a little bit again to that tang that sweetness and then you can do red potatoes you can do uh, russet potatoes whatever you like this can actually be served hot or cold I'm also featuring on the plate today as well um, a little bit of our meal simple uh, by HEB asparagus today as well and then um, if you need something extremely quick and easy we have our better than good sausage for you too. Right. And let's not forget about the pretzels dipped Those, in the mustard there yes. on the end. I've already tried one. So, you know, with football season being over, I'm a snacker from mm -hmm. the word go. So we do have our uh, pretzel bites for you. These are extremely easy uh, to make as a snack, especially for the kids after mm -hmm. school. And this is a rainy day something as well. And we're definitely going to be getting some rain here in a little bit, too. Well, this is great, and I love the fact that this just takes a few minutes to put just together. Just a few minutes. You and I did it together, and it, so with the chicken, you see that we've got a really nice caramelization on that one, and see just how quick and easy that was. And you get uh, this for me, uh, my family, this easily creates two meals, and then you can always put this on a salad, you can put this on a sandwich, you can do whatever you like with Chef it. Chef Cheyenne, appreciate it as always. If you'd like to take a look at these recipes, we will post them for you on our website, clicktohouston.com.